I promised to teach someone how to play Blackbird. And so I thought while I'm at it, I can turn it into a video as well. And what I wanted to do was to see if I could create the most complete and accurate version of uh, how to play Blackbird that's available online. So you'll see in the description field, I've attached a PDF of this as well. It goes on to some four pages. And I'll go through that at the end, just get, to give you some idea of the structure of it, because it contains some uh, musical directions that maybe you're not aware of. So it's worth me just giving you a quick overview of that. And the other thing I did was I went back to some original source materials as well. I found some video clips of Paul McCartney playing Blackbird. And, and I've referred to those as well. So I've used those to kind of help me, help me guide me through creating this video. So actually that's a good place to start. And if we have a look at the first one, this, this I found really interesting because this is a video of him. The quality is not very good at all, as you can see. But this is a clip of him uh, rehearsing this in the studio. And the thing I really liked about this is that it confirms that the, the tapping you hear all the way through the song is him tapping his feet while he's playing the guitar, which is really interesting. The, the other thing I found useful here is to look at his picking hand as well and just see what's going on. And actually, there's another video, a live video, which is much better quality, which I found as well. And this really does show what's going with his picking hand as well. So actually, let's look at the picking hand. That's a really good place to start here. So if you look at that picking hand, you can see what he's doing is he's doing sort of a pinch and then a little downward strum, only just covering two strings, just normally the G and the B string, or whatever his string is just played. So that's the first strumming pattern he uses, really simple. And the other strumming pattern is very similar, it's still index and thumb. But what he's doing, he does down, up, thumb, up, down. Pinch, down, up, thumb, up, down. Pinch, down, up, thumb. Yeah, so those are the two patterns you really need to get under your fingers. Okay, let's do a playthrough. Okay, so let's look at the song and the, the picking patterns in context as well. So the intro is a really good, good place to start. Okay, and so you can see it starts with that first picking pattern and finishes with that second one. And the notes there, hopefully you can see G and B, A and C, B and D. And instead of doing a, that kind of shape, we just do the pinch and then slide. And I like to play that with my index finger and little finger to prepare for that slide up to the 10th and 12th fret. So moving on then, we've got a little ascending line through the verse. Okay, so what am I playing there? C and E, then C sharp, and my index finger plays a high E, the G on that high, high E, and then I take that pattern and I move it up two frets and play it again. And end up there, seventh fret, eighth fret, and do that second pattern. Okay. So coming back down, we just played that. So all we do is we drop the first finger back one fret, and then take that shape and drop it back one fret, and then drop. I think of dropping back two frets and I fall back to that second shape we've done before with the C sharp and the G on top. Okay, so G, 
just done that. Drop back a fret on my index finger and the whole shape back. Then two frets back. And then I slide my, my little finger back. Then slide the whole shape back now. So open A and C sharp and then finally I'm playing the D string and that's everything you need from the verse okay so if you can do that you've got all the way through to the end of the verse and then there's a little sort of bridging section between the first verse and the second which is pretty much like the end of the verse Hopefully you can see that C and E, B and D, A and C sharp, D and C, back to that G. Okay, so now we move on to the chorus section, which is where he sings Blackbird Fly. And it starts with a big sort of, it's kind of the same descending line repeated twice, which is this. So let's see what's going on there. I start up on the eighth and the tenth fret. And what I do is, the way I visualize these shapes is, I visualize whether there's a fret between or not. So you can see there, there's a whole fret between the eighth and the 10th fret, and then a slide back, and there's no, no fret between. So those are together, together, then a fret, then together, and then back up fret, yeah? It's just a line you have to memorize. So you can see it's all that first strumming pattern. And then second strumming pattern. And then we do that whole descending line again. And do that little descending passage we did at the end of the verse. Okay, so from here, we're onto the instrumental. And the instrumental is, is pretty much identical to the verse apart from one extra slide. So what is it doing there? We do that second pattern to start with, then first pattern, and then slide. And then we move into the chorus. Okay, so once we've gone through that again, we've gone through the chorus, you finally starts with this. Okay, so all I'm doing there, once I'm up there, I just think four times around that second second pattern. One, two, three, four, and then four times around the first pattern. One, two, three, four, and then you hold it after that pick of the first time of the fourth one, yeah? Two, three, four, and then slide back down and you're back into the to the
Okay, so the song finishes with the final verse. And you can see he does that little slide again at the top, that little second time pattern, and then, then that little slide, yeah? But otherwise it's the same as the verse. The only difference is right at the end, when he's singing, you are only waiting. He does it three times. And he finishes with a little tap on the guitar. As I say, I created a PDF which is free to download, but let's review that in a bit more detail. Okay, I just wanted to take you through the, the tabs because there's probably a few symbols that you might not be used to. Um, so here it is, and you can see there's the intro, there's that first that first picking pattern, you know, the, the pinch and then the strum down, pinch, strum, and there's a slide up to the 10th and 12th fret, and this is that second strumming pattern and that second strumming pattern repeated. So the first couple of marks you might not be aware of are these. One is this weird symbol, and the other one is this, which indicates a repeat block. So this double bar and the colon says, when you repeat, you jump back to here. This symbol is just kind of marking this spot. So we're gonna be coming back to this spot. There'll be a part of the music which refers back to this symbol. But let's keep going. And we sing through the first verse. And you can see the first verse coming here. And this as well is, is around the repeat. You see the, the one, this basically means you play through these four bars when you first repeat, and there's that colon and double bar line. So we jump back up to where we find that, and that starts the second verse, okay? Play through again to here, and instead of playing the section with the number one, we play through the section with the number two and just keep playing. And you can see this is the, the chorus, that blackbird fly section. We keep playing through that. Um, and there you can see the instrumental starting here. There's that little climbing line again up to, there's that second thing up at the 12th fret, 10th, 12th fret. And this is that, that slightly different variation with the, with the slide back down, okay? Keep going. Uh, it goes blackbird fly, blackbird fly into the light of the dark black night. And then we do this, this climb back up again. And you can see this is where we're sustaining four times around that second pattern. And then four times around that first pattern. And we'd hold that and then slide back down to that little, little section. Now this, this is the part that you might not recognize as well. So this is a, a, an abbreviation, I think it's in Italian, the original, but basically this means jump back to where you see that symbol and then play from there, which we do. So there's that symbol. And this is the start of the third verse. And we play through that. And just here, the Takoda. So we've just played, you were only waiting for this moment to arise. And if you remember right at the song, we play that three times, and the way I've indicated that is to jump to a coda at the end. If we jump it to the end, you can see there's the coda symbol. So you, these are the other two times through that phrase. And there it finishes with that little tap, which I've indicated on top there. So that's it. I hope that was useful for you. Uh, have fun with it, and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.